Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do the daily tarot reading. It will be for around the 30th of April 2022 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. And remember, these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. So before doing this reading, I have spilled wax all over the table. I knocked the candle. It went everywhere. We're pushing through and just doing the reading. <laughs> ignoring that for now so let's just do the reading and see what we have remember these readings won't be for everyone just take what resonates with you as always okay let's see what we have i'm using the radiant wise spirit deck here it has just been one of those weeks this week i don't know how you guys have been but yeah it has been one of those weeks for me we have the two of cups we have the Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles, hmm. So the Two of Cups is my Bond Between Two People card. This can be friendship, uh, someone showing you friendship. It can be love, romance, relationships as well. Um, very good as a kindred spirit energy, soul connection. It, there's a deep connection with the Two of Cups. That's why I always call it the Bond Between Two People card because there is a mutual bond. It's just you recognize each other, you know each other, you don't have to say anything, you just know, you know? It's that kind of energy. It can be friendship, can be love, romance, relationships. With this, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of, Ten of Swords. So for some of you, you might have gone through a, a difficult time. The Ten of Swords can be a card of betrayal, uh, being stabbed in the back, thrown under the bus, deep hurt, deep wounds, but it's ended, you know. The Ten of Swords is all about endings and embracing new possibilities. Um, it's an opportunity to release from the pain, to surrender uh, and embrace the new day, the new dawn that's coming in the distance, that's pushing away that dark cloud. So there's a feeling here, even though someone's been through a really difficult time, there's new light, you know, being shed here in a situation that brings an end where you can surrender the pain. The Five of Pentacles can be about lack, feeling lack, insufficiency. Now, this can be uh, changes in employment, um, being let down in investments, not feeling that you have enough in terms of, you know, money areas for whatever reason. Some of you, there could be difficulty, pain attached to that. So, you could have been, you know, let down in terms of pension funds or um, investments of some kind that went wrong uh, can actually be about, you know, con artists, that kind of thing as well. Um, because it can be a card of betrayal, leaving you financially, you know, worse off. Um, now, the Five of Pentacles, it it can also be about lack mentality, not feeling like there's enough, you know, not feeling like you're paid enough or deserving or not feeling that you're good enough in some way, shape or form. That could be linked with this here. But it feels like being shut out, out in the cold and it feels like it's impacted on somebody in a financial way here. I mean, for some of you, this could also be a health thing if you've been through you know, a difficult time for health reasons that has left you worse off financially in some way, it feels in this energy there's a new beginning, which is just the answer to your prayers. It does feel in this energy, this new beginning is countering all of this because you can finally surrender this because the new is opening up for you. This is a lovely energy. This is getting the money that you need, the new beginning energy. So it can represent a sum of money and um, assistance that you need, monetary assistance, a new beginning in that. If you're getting a green light in some way, shape or form, that can be the energy. 
Um, but it links to money, money, career, finances, property, home. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles can be about moving, relocating, new job opportunities, a sum of money, business, assets coming your way. It's a new beginning. And it's given to you by the God, the universe, the divine. It's something tangible, something that you can touch and see. It's new abundance. This is the new path of abundance appearing here. It's such a lovely energy. It's the golden opportunity generally, uh, but can link with a sum of money coming your way. Um, linked to a new beginning here. This just feels an energy of a turnaround in your financial situation. I mean, if this is a relationship as well, this could be somebody who is wanting to reconnect, wanting to um, potentially, the two of cups, if it's to do with a relationship of some kind and feeling like being betrayed, this can be the energy here where somebody might be wanting to reconcile, move back home or move to a fresh home of some kind. But for the majority of you, it feels more of a financial thing. Again, take what resonates with you. Uh, but that's what I feel. It feels like this this new abundant energy is coming in. And it's just like the light in that card. You can see it's completely countering all this darkness, you know. Uh, it just feels that energy of light, something light coming in or seeing the light, something really opening up for you, a new door finally opening. And it feels abundant, um, lovely, lovely energy. And also this feeling of solid and stable, a new path that feels solid, stable, certain, you know, something that's not going to give way beneath your feet, but absolutely is the first building block on a new path. That's what I have for you. Okay, so I found the fairy cards again. <laughs> I know, I lose them. I don't know where the fairy cards go, but I found them again anyway. <laughs> okay, what do we have for the day, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for the day. We have pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. And manifestation is the opportunity to turn something negative to positive, an idea to reality, base metal to gold. And we do have that energy of gold, you know, in this reading. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you, and I wish you a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.